everybody. I want to give you an update for this week on the uh, midsize grow tent. So I'm going to grab the camera, take you over here. As you saw in the uh, one of the other videos this weekend, I showed uh, how I plant the new trays of lettuce. This is one of our new viewers that has been asking me a lot of questions about the, uh, the large grow tent. And I thought, you know, since he's going to be doing a lot of uh, floating bed, like uh, lettuce greens and vegetables, I thought it'd be a kind of a good thing to show him how I seed my trays and give some more information. So I think this is for Mike. Hey, Mike. So uh, here's the upper trays. You know, these are doing really well. And I'm doing a new seeding method, and I kind of showed that in the video this week. I don't put the bone meal inside the, uh, the trays anymore, and I'm noticing that I'm getting way better germination. I mean, I'm talking like 50% more. As you can just tell by looking at these trays, you know, these are pretty sparse with their growth. You can see down in there, there's not a lot of uh, close growth in there for, you know, really good second cut and third cut of these trays. But if you look at these trays like that one there, how closely dense, you know, all the seeding is, I can cut it sooner and I can get the same amount of volume for my salads as uh, I let these grow bigger. So within another two weeks, you know, these are going to be to this size, but they're going to be much denser and I can harvest quicker and more often and get regrowth because these are so sparse in here, you know, with the growth, I was feeling like, you know, that's why I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to keep doing these. But with the, you know, taking that bone meal out, I'm noticing that I'm getting way better germination. And I don't know if it's because I was maybe burying the seeds with that bone meal and it was causing it to stay too, too moist and not get the germination I wanted. But I'm really getting good germination in my uh, gourmet lettuce blend now. So as you can see, this is the tray that'll be harvested this week, these two. We'll get a week of uh, salads out of this along with our Taco Tuesday. And then hopefully by next weekend, you know, one of these will be big enough where I can maybe get some cuts. But we might have a week where we don't get any greens. But uh, now that I've got these two trays and these two trays coming into circulation, because I only need usually about one of these trays for, you know, two dinner salads. So that'll be great. You know, great, great uh, amount of new growth we're going to have in coming out of this tent going into spring. And then, you know, once spring comes in, we'll be able to, you know, get out there and start seeding for the uh, outdoors. So, well, that's kind of dark on that camera. I'll get over here closer to the light. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Looks like a shadow man sitting here. But, uh, yeah. So I'm pretty pleased with how the tent's going for uh, coming into, you know, second week of February. All right. This has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. Talk to you again. Bye.